Today I'm going to show you the best way to seal a killer toilet or a bidet. This is my tried and tested method. I've done that a few months back, but this needs to come off today because I need to fix an issue with it. I may or may not have already started this video downstairs. I can't remember exactly what I recorded, but I was going to silicon the bidet. As I've had to take this toilet out, I'm going to show you how to silicon this toilet rather than the bidet, but they're exactly the same. I've siliconed the toilet downstairs fully. This one is a open back toilet, so the pan doesn't go all the way to the back. Unlike this bidet, uh, that is sealed all the way around. I'm just going to silicon around the perimeter just here. And uh, I did previously run it all the way up the cistern there, but I'm not going to bother this time. I'm going to run it down the back just here. Make sure your area is properly cleaned. I have done this. I've taken off all the old silicon. You need to get rid of that if you refit in your toilet. If you fit it from fresh, that's fine. You should really, in an ideal world, use methylated spirits, but I forgot mine, so I'm not going to do that today. It's not too critical here. If you was going around your bath or your shower, make sure you use methylated spirits. Get yourself quality silicon. This one's Dowsil. Uh, this is the bacteria resistant one, so sanitary wear. This is the type of silicon remover or finisher that you want to get. These are ideal for this situation. Right, we're not going to go mental with this. I've already used this silicon, but cut the top off. Leave it. Don't cut that because you only want a little bit of silicon. These are your profiles normally. That one is too much. That one is pretty much ideal. It depends on how big of a gap you've got, basically. Um, so it would definitely be between this one and that one. I'd say 9 out of 10 times is this one. That does say 6R on the back. Hang on a minute, aid. Right, so 6R means six radius, six millimeter radius. Uh, you'll see in a minute when I show you the rest of the video from upstairs at least, I started with a 6R, not particularly happy with it. I changed to a 10R or 10 millimeter radius. Uh, before we go back upstairs, I'm gonna show you downstairs quickly because there was something that I didn't quite explain properly. For this one, it's gonna be easier because I've got tiles and that, and it's both smooth. Upstairs, it's the floor's rough. I'm gonna go 6R again because it's tight. Should be tight. What I'm gonna do, silicon-wise, I do that bit first, then I silicon that. So then I tool the whole lot. Silicon that, tool it. Silicon that, tool it. Silicon that, tool it. Okay, quickly, this is almost done. I'll show you the final result fully in a second. I've just done the top. Okay, now these corners in here, there and there, you're not going to get a good finish between them unless you roll them in. So wet your finger and just roll it into the other one. Okay, and then it joins up. See the lump there, it's not joined on. Okay, I've fucked it. <laughs> Hang on. There you go, perfect. So there, that's at the back, that's down the side. That's around the bottom. All good. All good. If you can get a battery gun on your tool platform that's reasonably affordable, it's worth its weight in gold. You can do it with this, perfectly fine. I've done it upstairs, you'll see that now. Okay, this bit isn't as critical because no one's gonna see it, but we wanna get a nice amount down because we want it to actually stick to the wall. You don't need to put big blobs down the back of the cistern this is enough to stick it so we've got this and then we're just going to scrape it like that okay right and then you see that bit on the edge here we're just going to get rid of that it doesn't matter no one's going to see this get yourself loads of tissue that's what you're going to use to remove the 
rest of that. Do not use washing up liquid. There's a video in the corner why you shouldn't do that, even though this doesn't particularly matter. That is solid. Just remember, every time you use your silicon gun and you're squeezing it out and it's coming out, if you just let go of it, it's going to carry on coming out. You just need to click that there, just push it, and it will release the pressure. And when you're going around a tight toilet, you haven't always got the luxury of getting the right angle or anything, or pushing or pulling. Just do it how you need to. And we don't need to get shit ton in. This is fine, okay? See, it's awkward because I haven't got the space. But you're just going to get a thin bead. Right, just to show you a close up. I mean, that, for all intents and purposes, is a complete mess. I'd normally get it better than that, like around a bath and stuff. But you've got a big open space. You can't do that around the toilet. Don't worry about it too much. This is going to sort you out. You're just going to push it in like that. Okay, I messed that first bit up, but it's fine, we can go back to it. Now you see here, I'm pushing the excess up the toilet there. You see? That's fine, because it's, it's better than getting it on the floor, because this is um, luxury vinyl tiles. Before we get back to the video, I thought it might be handy to explain the correct positioning for your tool. There's three orientations that you need to concentrate on, so if you put that in there, See, there's a gap just there that will leave the silicon up on the toilet as opposed to the floor rather than going like that and leaving it on the floor so that's the first position then you want to angle it this is extreme like that okay that means any excess silicon on here is going to roll into your actual bead as opposed to rolling out and then leaving a trail over here so first of all down to the bottom this way and then the next orientation is you need to make it flat like that. That's the extreme version. So if I was to do them all in one go, there, 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 pull. Right, I'm gonna get that bit again. So I just add it at the wrong angle initially. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this excess off. So I've turned that round so I can wipe it. I'm just going to do that a few times and get that bit that we don't want. We're just going to move it up away from where your actual proper silicon line is. Okay, I'm going one more down the bottom just to make sure I haven't got any excess on the floor. And then I'll get me wipe. I'm just going to rub that top bit there. For the wipes that use the no-nonsense ones, other brands are quite similar. I'll use the toilet roll and the tool first, and then I'll use this to get the excess off. Same with getting the excess residue off on the actual toilet or the floor. Okay, I'm just going to show you that bit. There was a pack of hanging out, so I had to push it back in. We just put up a little bit more silicon in there, that's fine. I'm not happy with that. I've done better. I'm gonna up it. I'm gonna run it again. We'll do this one instead. I should get a better bead. There we go, that's a lot bloody better, isn't it? That's how you do it. <laughs> this one's the 10R. That worked well. That's how you silicon your toilet. See you later.